Hi Taurus, this is a general love reading for March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs, or you can get a, a personal reading. All, right, all that information is in the description box. All right, let's see what's going on with Taurus. First half of March 2021 and do keep in mind that the rules can be reversed all right we have free will and we have regret Ooh, okay so I feel like somebody's free will here has been um, compromised maybe or somebody just wasn't really exercising their own free will and this is something that they have come to regret okay so that could be you or it could be your person Let's see. All right, so Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So for your energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. All right, okay, so starting off the reading with this Queen of Pentacles for you, I feel like you are beginning to really step into your own element, your own power, really finding yourself, um, wanting to take care of yourself, and wanting to do what it is that you want to do. I feel like this might be something new for you. And I feel like you're, you're gradually moving in that direction and really just finding your power here, all right? Also with the King of Wands. It could be that you are moving towards a um, particular person or a particular connection here. Could be a fire sign. Um, or that you're just really embodying this um, within your own self, like becoming more confident, becoming more um, like passion-oriented when it comes to what is in your own best interest, okay? Again, I feel like this is happening in small steps here, but it's definitely a progression. All right, let's see for your person. We have the Two of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, wow. Whoever you're dealing with here, I feel holds a lot a lot of emotions and a lot of feelings and love for you. All right, this is somebody who does want a commitment and who does see you. Um, I mean, we have both the knight, sorry, the king of wands as well as the queen of wands. This is like the perfect couple. And then also together with the Hierophant and the two of cups, like, wow, that's amazing. So, I mean, again, don't forget the roles can be reversed. All right, if you feel like Maybe this is you and that the first energy is that of your person. Yeah, so um, I'm seeing, we'll see, we'll see what the issue is here. Let's uh, see what's coming up. We have the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the High Priestess. All right, so it, do, it does feel like there is some stability coming in, okay? So maybe there was, wow, I mean... We have both the, the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, and now we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Like, there's just so much passion here, but it's also, I feel like, it's a connection that could really work on a practical level as well, as well as with, um, with passion. All right, and I do feel like the more that you are coming into this place of um, feeling good about your own self, the more stability it's bringing. Um, to this connection in some way. There is something though that you might not be seeing here with the Seven of Swords, so we'll see when we clarify. Um, but I do feel like there's a, and the, and the High Priestess as well, okay, something that you're not seeing, but I do feel like there is a lot of intuition that's playing a part here, all right, coming up. So let's get into it and see. Ooh, and as I cut the deck, Two of Cups again. So let's see the Queen of Pentacles. Because I really want to find out where this regret is. I, ha I mostly have a feeling that it's on your side. 
But again, roles can be reversed. All right, we have the, the Ten of Cups, the Magician, and the Devil. So there's something that you're... Um, Okay, you're you're moving towards this ten of cups, right? You're you're working on yourself. You are finding what your worth is, wanting to stand up for yourself. Is how it's coming through, all right? Um, because I really do feel that this this free will could be related to you. It could even be related to your person. We'll see when we clarify their energy. But for now, I feel like like there's something that you had wanted deep down and that maybe you didn't go after it or that maybe you didn't um, actually allow yourself to just really feel what you feel, all right? And so you are manifesting that that Ten of Cups, finding that fulfillment, finding that happiness, moving in the direction of what it is that you want. But I feel like there's still a little bit of fear that is like lingering. And that could be why you are moving in baby steps. And I don't feel like that is a bad thing um, in this particular case. But just be wary of the, of the fears that you might still be um, holding on to. Let me see the page of pentacles. It could even be that you, um, in the past, you may have manifested something that was very unpleasant for you, that turned out to be unpleasant, or something that, um, you know, maybe you thought was the Ten of Cups, and then it turned out it wasn't. Okay, so now maybe you, you still have a fear of that, or you might be regretting that. All right, which could be holding you a little bit back just from really fooling your, your full power. But like I said, you're gradually moving in that direction. All right, so clarifying the Page of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Yes, yeah, see, there's that regret. There's something you regret here. It could be that you regret allowing yourself to get involved in a, in a particular situation. Something where you thought that there would be um, potential and then it turned out there wasn't. Hmm. However, I feel, again, I feel like you are taking small steps to pull yourself out of that. Let me see the King of Wands. It could be that you're dealing with two different situations here. Alright, the Eight of Pentacles and Strength. Alright, so yeah, it could definitely be a fire sign that that's in the picture here in some way. Um, but either way, I feel like, yeah, you're definitely moving towards, towards finding that courage, towards finding that strength for your own self. And I feel like it really has to do with releasing some kind of a regret here. All right, um, or that you regret using maybe not going with your free will, not going with what you really wanted to do, but you ended up doing something that maybe you thought you had to do or that was the right thing to do, but it wasn't really what you wanted. Um, something along those lines. And I feel like you're slowly but surely getting yourself out of that. All right, you're working towards that. You're working on finding that strength to really, you know, um, do something about it now, kind of like, okay, you know, um, I did something that maybe turned out to not be what I wanted, um, but you know, what matters is what I do from here on out. And you're finding that confidence to overcome whatever the obstacles are. Alright, let's see for your person. Let's see this two of cups. The Nine of Cups, the Page of Wands, and Temperance. So I'm not even sure if this is the same person here. It could be that there's someone that this is someone else or something else, like maybe just a situation um, that you found yourself in. Because I'm seeing this person here as somebody who, wow, like, I mean, or maybe they just want you and you don't want them. I don't know. I don't, I, I'm not getting that though. I'm not seeing you not wanting 
this particular connection. So it's, you know, it's going to be different for all of you. But what I'm seeing here is that this person holds a lot of love for you. As I said, this is something that they've been wishing for. They want to have you in their life. And it could be that, um, it could be that they're, I feel like actually they're waiting for you in some way, some way or another here with temperance. I don't see them as being the ones holding back. I see that more from you. Um, and it could even be that they're trying to balance balance something out within themselves. Um, and it could be that this is something new for them as well. This having to balance something, all right? Maybe there was something within this person that was not balanced, which caused you maybe to have walked away from this in the past. I don't know. But I do see this person really trying to Find some kind of a healing and balancing out whatever it is from their side for this for this connection. Let's see the fire hands. The four of wands. Yeah, need I say more? I mean, I, I don't know. I just get that this is somebody that that you actually would um, that you would want. Because the way it's coming through here, it's like somebody that is would be very stable for you. Somebody where there is this mutual, there could be this mutual love. Like, I feel like it's not just from their side. And this is something that could be potentially very long term. And stable. As well as strong. Let me see the Queen of Wands. The two of pentacles. All right, so maybe part of the part of the issue here may have been that yeah, although this person holds a lot of love for you, it is something very secure, very stable. It could be that when it came to the way that they um, maybe the way that they treated you may have fluctuated a little bit. Like maybe this person had a lot on their plate. Maybe they were um, juggling a lot of things, and maybe they didn't make you a priority. Or maybe they didn't um, encourage you, you know, possibly for your own free will. I don't know. But I f I'm, that's the only issue that I'm actually seeing here. And I do, like I said, I do feel like this is something that they are working on with that temperance card being here. So let's actually move on to what is coming up. Let's see the King of Pentacles. I mean, the amount of stability I'm seeing here is ridiculous. Let's see, the Queen of Cups. Again, I feel like there's a lot of love here. I feel like there is love as well as stability. I feel like the issue lied elsewhere. And I feel like, yeah, a part of it could have been um, from their side and maybe, like I said, the way that they were treating you and maybe that just didn't feel right for you and then maybe you ended up uh, making a decision that, you know, wasn't exactly what you wanted and Hmm. Because I see things, I mean, even in the near future here. Let me get one more. Page of Cups. Yeah, see, there's so much emotions. I feel like you are going to tap into your emotions a little bit more. Um, and, re and pretty much use your own intuition to see what it is that you, that you want. Do you want this connection? with this person or do you not? And I feel like that is something that is going to really be um, on the forefront of your mind coming up. And it's it's like your emotions are going to be opening up to this. Um, because you may have repressed them in the past. And it's like now they're coming back up to just like show you, hey, you know, this is how I feel. What do you want to do about it? And don't forget that the roles can be reversed. Let's see the Seven of Swords. The High Priestess. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Intuition. Intuition. I feel like, okay, I feel like you might have this tendency to avoid your intuition. And it's interesting because we have the High Priestess here as well. Right? That was right next to, this, to the Seven of Swords. So that's like dub, double confirmation. Um, I feel like this is what you're not seeing. Almost like you don't want to see your intuition. And what I'm getting here, the message for you is to, you know, allow yourself to see that these emotions are going to come up. You're, you're going to try to avoid them um, because you do have that tendency, but that's also in your control. 
if you want to avoid your intuition or follow your intuition. Let's see the High Priestess. Ooh, the Six of Pentacles and the Lovers. Yes, yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I, it really feels like, you know, you, it really is in your control here. What I see you moving towards is more leaning towards following your intuition, finding that balance within yourself, you know, to be able to handle whatever it is that your intuition is telling you. Um, for whatever reason, I'm getting that it might feel scary because you've had some regrets in the past. You don't want to have another regret. And that does make a lot of sense, but you know, escaping, just escaping the situation, that's not going to resolve any, anything. It's, uh, these feelings are going to keep coming back up. And so I feel like basically, ultimately, actually, ultimately, even when you try to escape your intuition, you're just going to end up coming back to that. What your intuition is telling you about, about this connection, okay, whatever that is for you. And processing that you know, facing that and then deciding what it is that you want to do about it. All right, because it really is up to you because this person is here like, yeah, like, like wanting to have this connection with you and wanting to, to work things out. All right, Taurus, if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know, let me know if you're cross-watching. Or if you feel that the rules were reversed, maybe, I'd be interested to know. And let's see, what is the, your final message? Alright, we have a narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. Yeah, tread thoughtfully in the sense of, you know, <laughs> don't avoid your intuition. Pretty much. All right, um, going against your intuition, as I said, it's just going to keep bringing back these feelings. It's going to keep bringing back these feelings and then you're gonna just be stuck in that, in that fear and that negative type of a space. But you know, even though you are moving forward, there's no need to stay more in this space. Allow yourself to move forward. All right, Taurus, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching, much love.